Hey guys, it's Coach M. I've got an activity for you guys to try at home. Um, all you're going to need is a large Ziploc bag and you're going to fill it up with air so that way it's nice and kind of it floats. Okay, so for all my soccer players out there and even my beginners who haven't tried soccer before, uh, we didn't get to a soccer unit this year in PE, but here's an activity you can try at home to work on your skills. So in soccer, one of the most important things is ball control. Now, I know this is not a soccer ball and it does not even resemble a soccer ball, but it can help you with those quick movements that you need to have ball control. So this is gonna help with your juggling. So what you're gonna do is literally try to juggle the plastic bag, okay? So one, as you can see, it can be kind of difficult because you can't control where it's going to go. So one, two, here, try to switch up your feet. My soccer skills have slacked a little since back in the day. But the more you practice, the better you can get. Very easy. Um, try to use both feet. Um, try to see how many you can get on each foot. Switch feet, use both at the same time. There's lots of different things that you can practice with this. If you feel like you are getting good at it and you have a soccer ball at home, try it outside. Um, I've got a soccer ball here. You can do all kinds of things with it. Um, you can practice your juggling outside. You Don't do it in the house, please. You might break something. Um, you can do different drills that just work on your ball control. Um, toe taps is nice. It's easy. Stuff like this. Keeping it under control, keeping it under your body. Things like this. Just some little soccer workouts that you can do. Um, you can get creative with it. Um, if you have any questions or need some idea, more ideas from us, you can always message us on Dojo. Other than that, stay active, stay healthy. We miss you guys. I wish we could see you soon.